Hello everybody, it's Diane. I am here with a really scrappy project. This is all corrugated cardboard that I cut with scissors and I didn't care if it was real straight. Yes, this is Diane from Tattered Edges Design. You're at the right place. And I actually said that. For whatever reason, I just felt like making stuff really scrappy. And I mean scrappy, like I don't even know if I'm going to put a focal thing on this stuff. I peeled some cardboard. I left some. I just sort of, you know, took off what would come. I didn't spend hours doing that. I have some fabric. I've got my box of leftover stuff. And as you can see, I punched holes. So these are supposed to be tags. I pulled a few uh, focal things. This is Tim Holtz stuff. That's not bad, except it's way too too new to suit me. Because you know, usually, if you want to be real analytical about it, and I'm sure you do, most of my stuff. It's sort of like little pictures, really. You could call them that. I rarely do stuff like this, like just make it look more scrappy. And I don't think I'm that good at it, which is maybe why I don't do it too much. Okay, I'm not going to glue or anything here. Okay, so do you get it? <laughs> Are you excited? But I just thought this would be kind of fun and sort of different. What I'm going to do with these, I don't know. If they turn out great, I could try to sell some. I could put some in journals that I haven't made. Um, I call that a pretty schlocky cutting job, I'm sorry. I was thinking of making a journal that was a little um, sort of scrappy, like having random papers kind of things like that on pages. So if I ever get around to that, something like this could go in that. So we fell off the, I don't care if it's straight wagon in a hurry, right? Here I am recutting Tim Holtz's butterfly. Sound like <laughs> I'm the Felix Unger of the collage world. And then I recook her meals because I'm much better cook than she is. He says that in the Odd Couple movie. I recut his images. Okay. It's kind of funny. I also have some just random book page stuff here. Oh, the three little pigs. I just remember that, um, oh, that's the video I trashed. Okay, you don't know it. <laughs> It was uh, a video I trashed. It just it just wound up being so dumb, and I was interrupted a couple times, and I just decided to get rid of it. But uh, and that's neat. I had made a mini moon card that had three pigs on it. I could have put that on there. Okay, in a case like that too, I could maybe put twine around or something like that. Might be fun. <sighs> Boy. 
Facebook page. Couldn't tell. Those are too big. All right, this is just laying right there. All right, what are these? Composition marble. They're just statues. I thought maybe they were salt and pepper shape. <laughs> Which I suppose it doesn't make any sense, does it? Salt and pepper shakers are usually exactly the same, right? I could paint on these two. All right, well, as scrappy as I'm trying to be, I don't like that with the, the other text stuff. I'll save that for something else. It kind of does match the two, doesn't it? This might be a good place for like buttons or stuff. <laughs> if you have stuff, you know, more like the the real fake flowers and you know, more like 3D things. I don't have a lot of that stuff. As a matter of fact, I don't have much of that stuff at all. Washi tape crossed my mind too. Might be a good place for a stapler, which I mentioned I did get a new one. All right. All right, let's get back to this. Okay, that's too much fussy writing. Do not drop. Well, I like that, but it doesn't fit. Let's do this. Good. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> doing the saying hmm made me think that closed caption doesn't always understand what I'm saying. And I got, uh, I was doing the closed caption today on another video, and <laughs> twice it had applause in brackets. And it's when I was sort of shuffling, ripping paper. I guess it sounds like applause. So that's kind of cool. I'm now getting applause on my video. <laughs> what an honor. That's too big. Okay, thanks. I wonder if you really like sneeze or something like that. Do they say that? Do they recognize that? So we'll say this applause and all this kind of baloney. I've only been getting that recently. I told you now they keep doing foreign my um the car noise in the beginning and end of my videos that's always foreign they have no idea what it is i guess and actually i'll let you in on a little secret does anybody has anyone picked up on the fact 
that's really not a car. It's uh, a movie projector. <laughs> and my, you know, first thing everybody's bubble there. Everything we were finding that was an actual car just did not sound right and it was real loud. So, actually I thought it was pretty good. And how I got up on that tangent, I don't know. oh, applause. <laughs> Does anybody else ever do that when you, you're, you end up thinking about you know, Mount Everest or something, and you're like, how did I get there? And do you ever go back in your brain and figure out where it came from? <laughs> Apparently I have. All right, that needs something underneath. Possible paint. All right, well, let's see. Can we use this in some way? I don't care for that cutting either. I don't know if you can hear it when I'm not babbling about stuff, but it's real windy today. Actually, that's kind of cool just like that. I didn't think of rubber stamping. Could do that. Yeah. What about this receipt looking thing? I could do that on that one too. Come here. And the best part of this stuff is, if something like this doesn't work out, it's a piece of cardboard that, to be honest, I was going to put it in the recycle bin anyway, because I have a lot. And I don't know, it just for some reason struck me that I've never really used it as a base for stuff. I've used it in a few projects, not a lot. And if it turns out great, then I have a use for all that cardboard I keep saving. <laughs> Which, I mean, I do use it. You know, you use it in shipping, um, you know, or to back a picture in a frame or something. I, I use it, but I have a lot. Okay, come here. doesn't want to come up. All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's kind of cool just like that. <laughs> well, that tag does, or ticket doesn't really stand out now. Yeah, that would be better. And that one's cut pretty well. Burling Bros ticket. That's just the way it is. Okay. I also have someone gifted me some. It was a set of die cut stuff, and they're they're shiny, and they had a big like here's. I have one that yeah that's not cut. They have quite a big border on them. I trimmed them down. <laughs> Yeah, Diana doesn't surprise us. But anyway, I usually forget I have them.
Nice. That's pretty good, but it needs something. It's a head. Yeah, and if I start falling into the... She's trying to make a picture trap. Would you tap her shoulder, please? I don't know. I'll have to work that out somehow. <laughs> All right, something smallish. And actually, have you noticed? Yeah, I have fallen into that trap. I started off with background stuff, and I quickly moved to focal stuff, pulling it first. <laughs> Letting it go the other way. Letting it go the other way. So articulate. That's not bad, just like that. Um, maybe just a little something. Like a little seam binding. Okay. I can't sew on any of these unless I hand so my machine is not gonna it's not gonna take that no way what's this reinforcers I like that, but I don't think with that. And I purposely did not get a ton of stuff. I, I'm trying to force myself to just sort of use what's here. Come here. Okay, pretend that's down. You know what I should do? Put some reinforcers on there. I have some uh, somewhere. <laughs> I'm not sure what drawer they're in. I'm going to have to search. Am I going to remember that? Okay, let's find a long one. No, I probably am not going to remember that. I admit it. Interesting. That's a copy. I found a, uh, I guess it was a collage sheet online. That was part of it. It's kind of cool, just like that. Wrong color. Black. 
All right, I'll tie that around somehow. And I don't know if you noticed, but some of these are this narrower type corrugation, which actually, I think for this, looks better if you want to be real fussy about it. I think just because it's smaller, the scale, so to speak. Now she's analyzing the scale of corrugated cardboard. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah, it's funny if you don't have to listen to it. <laughs> I thought, you know, little um, vintage photos would be cute on this type of thing, too. And I have a lot uh, I could print. Maybe I'll do that sometime, but that wasn't my what goal today. I just wanted to use what I have. I could use a button. All right, well, I remember that. Yeah, I don't know the pressure to remember all this stuff. It's the small. What about a fake airmail stamp? That's a Tim thing too. Isn't it weird? Well, I guess it's not weird, but you know, I had all this stuff and this one it keeps. <laughs> it does look like it's growing. It's a Dick Van Dyke one. I mean, the show, not the person. Good. Well, I don't know that I like lace with an airmail stamp, and I know that's being kind of fussy. All right. Well, this is going fairly fast. I know it's a matter of opinion. We're at 23 minutes. All right, tell you what, I'll do this one. I have two more there to goof around with. And then, I guess since we're at 23 minutes, I'll finish them off by myself. There's not really a whole lot left to do. Anyway. Where are those other... Did I use them? The stamps. I don't see them. Paper so brittle. It's kind of cute. out that one flower and put on there. Okay, I'll come back for show and tell. Hang on. Okay, here they are all done. Yes, I added quite a few extras because I had a piece of cardboard sitting nearby and because it was fun. They have either plain string or coffee dyed cotton there in the holes. Most of them have a little schmutzy gesso on them. There are a couple that have staples. I did flatten the backs. My new stapler works very well. All the backs are just plain. I didn't do anything to them. But yeah, these were fun. I'd do it again. 
I probably will put a lot of these in my shop. I don't think I need this many in my life. Keep in mind, if you do are interested in buying, there's a thickness there. The thinner ones are not bad at all. That's similar to cardstock. The, you know, typical corrugated cardboard, a little bit of thickness. Just keep that in mind. Although because of that, they're very sturdy. But yeah, if you want to give this a go, it's pretty fun. It's um, easy. <laughs> I'll give it that. Another use of scraps, too. And last one. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Hope you have a nice day out there.